Are you looking to update your monitor? You're having issues with HDR and you get the funky issues to where the colors are off or you have a little bit of oversaturation. Maybe you're expecting more of 144 hertz, but instead you're getting something weird like 29 hertz, 31 hertz, and you're not getting the full performance. Well, a firmware update might be needed for your monitor. It's actually really simple. The method I will show you not only will work with ASUS, but it will also work with LG, MSI, Alienware, any other monitor manufacturer that you need to update the firmware, this same exact steps will update that monitor. And that there is a new update from ASUS that I can show you on how to update your firmware. Here is how you're gonna do it. So you're gonna go to the ASUS website here or the monitor manufacturer of your choice. Swift OLED PG34WCDM. It is officially released by ASUS. I'm gonna show you exactly where and I will have it in the link in the description box down below. Now this method is gonna be a little bit different than the one I showed you earlier because ASUS has finally decided to release their patch issue when it comes to oversaturation or when it comes to HDR where it just looks like a complete and utter mess. It's gonna take only a couple minutes. All you have to do is go to the support page here and you're gonna go down to the driver's utility and you're gonna select your OS. For me, I have a Windows 11 64 bit. We're gonna go here and right here, you're gonna see an update for 318. So you're gonna download this update and once you download it, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like a zip file. You're gonna unload the zip file. We're gonna to go to the downloads folder here. We're gonna to go to extract all. Once you extract it all, it's gonna create a folder right into your downloads folder and you're gonna see a drivers folder. Right here is where uh, firmware that you actually need, but don't do anything quite yet. I'm just showing you that the folder is here in the download side. Now, all you have to do is right click the Windows button and then go to Device Manager. When you go to Device Manager, just go over to Monitors and you're gonna right click the, the monitor that needs the update, click Properties, and from here, you're gonna go to Drivers and you're going to update the driver. Now, it's gonna say either search automatically for drivers or browse my computer. You're gonna go to browse my computer because we just downloaded that folder right here kind of shows up, it pops up right away, but just in case if it doesn't, I'll show you where to access it. It's going to be right here. As you see, I got a ton of folders, but just access the one that you downloaded. So you're going to click OK, and then you're going to click Next, and it's going to update the driver. Because I've already updated the driver on my monitor, it already says that I already have the best driver installed for this monitor. It might flash for a minute when you do the updated firmware and it might take a little bit to go through, but once it does, you will officially be updated. How do you know? You wanna check your monitor's menu in order to make sure that the updated firmware went successfully. For example, click on the back of your monitor here, go all the way down to the bottom where it says system settings. And then when you go to your system settings, just go over to the information side. From here, it should tell you that you are on firmware version MCM201. And if you are, congratulations, you are on the new firmware. Now yours might not say MCM201, but it will have some similar numbers or letters such as IL13 or something weird. But as long as if you see a newer number, that usually indicates that you are on a newer firmware. But most importantly, you wanna make sure that the firmware number matches the update file that you have downloaded. So FAMAM guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you know anybody else who needs help with updating their firmware for their monitor, especially when it comes to the PG34WCDM, make sure you share this video with them. If you know anybody, if you are not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fan band guys, make sure you check out the other videos. This is Chris Mizo signing out.